Alright, cool. So the movie begins, right? Marlin's this fish, right? Do you remember what kind of fish he is? Uh, clownfish. Yes. So Marlin's got this new crib, right? It's got like a thousand bedrooms. And he's like, I'm the man. I'm the man. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Who are you kissing? I'm copying the fish in the background, daddy. <laughs> Anyway, so they're swimming around the new house all excited when Coral goes outside. Follow me. Marlon swims after her. Oh no, the whole neighborhood has vanished. <gasps> Nemo's mom is staring into the eyes of a gigantic murder barracuda. Daddy, didn't Nemo's dad check out the crime statistics before buying the house? Are you the criminals from the statistics? Excellent question, my child. So Marlon says, get back inside the house but she doesn't listen and the barracuda attacks forcing Nemo's dad to execute the five fin figure tag attack you die daddy Nemo's dad is so brave just like your daddy so Nemo's dad gets knocked out but when he comes to daddy I'm glad you're not in a Disney movie why my child otherwise you'd be dead anyway when Nemo's dad wakes up everything is gone his wife and all all his baby children except for one daddy what if nemo's mom was bored with nemo's dad because she was in love with the barracuda and she took the kids and went to go live with the barracuda why would you think that well daddy barracudas don't eat eggs also they don't eat clownfish also also nemo's mom wasn't enough food why didn't the barracuda eat nemo's dad this changes everything anyway so time passes by and nemo wakes up his dad First day of school! First day of school! So Nemo's dad takes him to the bus stop, extremely paranoid about the big bad world, and he won't let Nemo have any fun. So the seahorse kid says, I'm H2O intolerant. Just like how you are allergic to vegetables. Exactly. So the kids get onto this big flat fish, right? It's called a stingway, daddy. My baby's a genius. So the other dads tell Marlon that the kids are gonna go have fun, and Nemo's dad is like, Fun? My son's gonna have fun with other kids? How dare he? Nemo, no! Having fun is against your religion! And Nemo says what every kid whispers to their overbearing religious parents. I hate you. Daddy, I hate you. I'm joking, Daddy. I love you. <clears throat> I knew that. Daddy loves you too, my child. So while Marl is distracted, Nemo swims to touch the big butt. I'ma show you how great I am. He swims and he swims, filled with determination and motivation to reach the boat while his dad screams, Don't touch the butt! And Nemo's like, I touch big butts and I cannot lie. You touch the butt. But while he's swimming back, he gets fished up by a huge human being. Oh no! Flash in his face. Nemo's dad is dazed as he swims after the boat. He swims and he swims, but it's too late! Nemo is gone. Never to be seen again. And now that I'm a dad, this is really hard for me to watch. Daddy, what would happen if someone kidnapped me? The movie would be legendary. Anyway, so Marlin is in a complete panic when he bumps into a forgetful fish named Dory. He asks if she's seen a boat. Follow me! And they start swimming and swimming. But Dory starts to panic because everywhere she goes, this crazy clownfish keeps following her. Oh, you got a problem, buddy? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you? I make you pick up your teeth with broken bones. Daddy, Dory is crazy. Don't say that. It's offensive to crazy people. So Marla's like, this crazy woman. And Dory tells her that she has a short-term memory loss. Daddy, how do people remember they have short-term memory loss? I, I... I don't know how to answer that, my child. So Marlon leaves Dory. Hello. Mike, says the Aussie shark. Daddy, is the shark the most dangerous animal in Australia? My child, everything in Australia wants to kill you. They have birds that will poke your eyes out, spiders that eat anacondas and eat you to death, crocodiles and swimming pools and kangaroos that will punch you in the face and worst of all, box jellyfish. Daddy, what's a box jellyfish? Let me tell you about the box jellyfish. They're from the jellyfish family. Legend has it that the jellyfish are an ancient species of space alien that was sent to Earth from another planet as a punishment from God. These hateful little devils come from the same planet as the aliens from the War of the Worlds. They just float around the oceans with their long tentacles zapping everything to death. They have no bone, no spine, no flesh, and the immortal jellyfish lives forever. Name the Bruce. All right, I understand. Why well, trust a shark, right? Eat them up. Let that be a lesson to you, boy. Never trust a shark. Doesn't matter if it's a lone shark or a baby shark. Do, 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 do. No, daddy, he almost ate them. And then he goes, ha, ha, ha. 
ha, 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 you laughs in Australian. What you doing here, Mike? But daddy, they're in the ocean. Where else are fish supposed to be? Interesting question, my child. So Bruce tells them, follow me, and invites them to a party with a bunch of other sharks. Marlon's terrified, but never judge a book by its cover because these are nice, friendly sharks. Fish are friends, not food. Exactly. So the sharks are busy making fun of dolphins. But daddy, do sharks make fun of killer whales? Nothing makes fun of killer whales. Killer whales are badass. They are the honey badgers of the open sea. So the little green fish quickly escapes the shark cult and Bruce starts to pledge and Dory goes up and says that she's never eaten a fish. Just like your daddy! But daddy, fish is delicious. Ew. So while Marlin gets his turn to speak, he notices the diver's mask and tells him that his son was taken. Never knew my father! <laughs> Marlon and Dory fight over the mask and Dory gets hurt. Bruce smells the blood and he's like... Oh no! Bruce is going crazy chasing them through the ship, left, right, center. Marlon and Dory trap themselves inside of the room. But this crackhead shark starts repeatedly banging his head against the steel door. Marlon and Dory are trying to find a way to escape. But Bruce is relentless. He'll stop it. Nothing. He chases them around the ship and into a torpedo launcher thingy. <gasps> How are they gonna get out, Daddy? Easy. Dory releases the torpedo and Bruce catches it and throws it away and it lands against a sea mine and boom. Oh wow! Dory is awesome, Daddy. She can read and operate military equipment. Yes. So Nemo gets thrown into a fish tank and is freaking around because he's in a whole new environment. Daddy, is that Buzz Lightyear? Astute observation, my child. So Nemo accidentally triggers a box. <laughs> Nemo's panicking, terrified by absolutely everything, but fortunately for him, all the new fish like him. So the dentist shows Nemo that he's going to be Dala's new pet and he leaves and Cry mate, I'm going to see a man about Walla Bay, or something Australian like that. So Nemo panics and gets caught into a suction thingy and everyone tries to help, but then comes out the big bad girl, you can do it, and teaches Nemo how to get himself out. Yeah! Back in the ocean, Marlin wakes up and realizes they're in danger. He tries to wake Dory up. See, monkey has my money. The submarine comes crashing down and lodges itself against the cliff face while the mask falls to the bottom of a trench. And Marlin is mad at Dory for dropping the mask. But daddy, it wasn't her fault. This is, this is true. So Dory says to Marlin, Hey, Mr. Grumpy Girls. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Now they're deep in the trench and they cannot see anything. And Dory's like, ah! Are you my conscience? And they see a beautiful light and they go up to it. Wow! Then they start playing with the light. Ah! But when they finally see what it is, it's a big scary anglerfish. The anglerfish gives chase, but while they're swimming, they see the mask. Dory reads the mask while the anglerfish tries to eat Marlin. Daddy, if Dory's the only fish that can read, why do the other fish go to school? I'll explain that later. So Marlin fights the big, terrifying fish just as it's about to devour them. Marlin traps it in the mask. Yay! No, no, no eating here tonight. Dory. You're on a diet. And Dory remembers the address. Yes. So later that night, French says to Nemo, follow me, I am French. And Nemo gets invited to a welcoming ceremony. Nemo swims to the top of the bubble volcano to face his greatest challenge ever. He has to swim through. The bubbles get turned on. And with all the might and determination, Nemo swims through the bubbles. And then they call him Shockbait. Shockbait! Gil tells everyone his new plan to escape, but they're already kind of tired of his plans that never work out. But Gil has belief. So back in the ocean, Marlin tells Dory to go away, and the school of fish are like, This guy bothering you. They ask for directions, and the fish make a Marlin impression. Daddy, which fish was talking? Nobody knows. So Dory asks for directions, and the fish tell her where to go, but with one important warning to swim over the trench and not under it. So they get to the scary looking trench, and Marlin wants to swim over it, but Dory has a bad feeling and she wants to swim through. Daddy, there's no way Dory forgot so easily. What if she's pretending to be forgetful so that Nemo's dad won't leave her? This child is way smarter than me. Daddy loves his smart little angel. Anyway, so they're swimming over the trench and Dory sees a baby jelly. I shall call him Squishy and he shall be mine and he shall be my Squishy. And he zaps her and Marlin kicks it away. And then they get surrounded by the jellies. Yes, Marlin panics. There's jellies everywhere but Dory's bouncing on top of them. Wee, wee. 
challenges Marlin to a race. Now it's built for speed. Phew, course, and rockets through the jellies and wins the race. Yay! But oh no, Dory is nowhere to be seen. So Marlin goes back into the jellies to find her. Did she die? No. Marlin found her, so he grabs her and they swim through the jellies, getting zapped left, right. And did they die? You're about to find out, my child. So we go back to the dentist's office where Shockbait is ready to escape. He jumps into the thingamajig and shoves a stone into the whatchamacallit. Success! But on his way out, the stone gets loose and Shockbait gets sucked back into the thingamajig. Did he die? No, the other fish worked as a team and rescued him. Shockbait is traumatized and Gil accepts defeat. Life trapped inside of a cage for human enjoyment forever. So we go back to the ocean where Marlin was saved by a turtle named Crush. <laughs> and he's like, At first you were all like, whoa. And then we were all like, whoa. And then you were like, whoa. Taking on the jellies. You got serious thrill issues, dude. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Oh. And then they go down this vortex. Uh -huh! Righteous! Righteous! Yeah! And when it's over, you ask Marlin, yeah. what brings you on this fine day to the EAC? Just before Marlin tells him about his adventure, he remembers Dory! Crush shows him where she is. Dory lays there, dead. No, daddy, she was playing hide and seek with the other baby turtles. <laughs> so Squirt gets thrown out of the current and Martin rushes to save him. Whoa, kill the motor, dude. Let us see what Squirt does flying solo. And Squirt comes back and he says, So totally rock, squirt! So give me some fin. Noggin. Yeah. And then Marlin gets swarmed by the hatchlings. Did you die? Sorry, I was a little big on the details. So Marlin tells the hatchlings how Nemo was taken away by a diver and the crazy adventure they've been on battling sharks, anglerfish, jellyfish. The word gets around as the turtle tells fish and the fish tells the Will Smith fish and now the lobsters are talking about it. It's like wicked dark down there. You can't see a thing. How's it going, Bob? And then everybody's talking about it. Daddy, does this mean that all the fish in the whole world are going to hear this story? Magnificent question, my child. So Nigel hears that Nemo's dad is on the way and he throws away the crab he was about to eat. And Master Crab Fool was like, you want to battle me? Hiya, hiya. Wah. Yes. So Shark Bait's depressed because he's about to die, but Nigel flies in to tell Shark Bait that his dad is on his way. He took on sharks and jellyfish and sea demons and a whale, and Shark Bait can't believe it. His dad is a hero. He's so excited. He finally knows that his daddy loves him. Now he's motivated. He grabs a stone and jumps back into the pump and blocks it, and everybody's like, Yay! Shark Bait! Woo ha! Shark Bait! Woo ha! Got you all in check. So Gil tells everyone their plan is in motion and he tells Jacques to stop cleaning. And Jacques says, I am French. I am important. So we head back to the EAC where Marlon and Dory are about to make an exit. So Squid gives them a rundown of the exit strategy, but I can't hear a word he's saying. Hey guys, get back at your head in the wall. There's a screaming And Squirt pushes them out. Crush points them in the right direction to Sydney, just as the baby Ninja Turtles land on his back, and he's like, You tell your little dude I said hi, okay? And everybody says goodbye. It's so wholesome. <laughs> Daddy, is that an eye water on your cheek? <clears throat> no, it's cheek sweat. Daddy, when is Crush gonna get his own movie? That would be awesome, my child. Maybe it could be about Squirt getting thrown out of the current and Crush has to find him. Disney, we own the IP to that idea. Daddy, you know who Crush reminds me of? Who? You, Daddy! love you so much my child anyway so now they're staring into the vast expanse of nothing and start swimming so they've been swimming for a while and marlon notices a speck he saw before and he goes into a panic but dory asks marlon to do something unthinkable what's that daddy i i can't even bring myself to think about it <gasps> she asks marlon to ask for directions <gasps> then dory makes an offensive statement about men and asks him for directions Daddy, do you ask people for directions? Oh, Honey, why don't you just ask yeah. someone for directions? How dare you? Daddy, would you rather ask for directions or catch pneumonia and die? I'd rather catch pneumonia and die. So they see a little fella. Come on, little fella. It turns out to be a whale and Dory remembers that she can speak whale. Daddy, how does Dory remember all the different whale languages if she doesn't have a memory? So the cruel swimmer wastes and the whale eats Marlin and Dory. Oh no! 
so we go back to the fish tank and Jill's plan worked. It's absolutely filthy. Just like our pool, daddy. How dare you. So the dentist walks in, crikey, and wipes the filthy algae on the kid. Shock Bait is excited. He can't wait to see his dad, but he doesn't know that his dad is trapped inside of a whale and is desperately trying to get out. Dory speaks to the whale and the whale tells her it wants to root beer float. No, daddy, the whale said they must go to the back of the throat. So Marlon eventually trusts Dory and lets go and they fall and they fall and splash. The whale shoots them out of its spout and I so daddy, the whale was taking them to Sydney. Yeah. So the next morning, the fish wake up, but oh no, the tank is clean thanks to the aquas come 2003. Oh no. So the aquascum scans the tank and reads the temperature. Shoppe gets fishing up again, but the fish band together and swim down and push the net out of the dentist's hand. Daddy, how is that possible? Through the power of will. Shoppe gets shoved into a bag and taken out of the tank. Daddy, why did Jill call him Nemo instead of Sharkbait? Nemo! Sharkbait! Splendiferous question, my child. So Sharkbait starts swimming to the window and everybody's like, Yay! You can do it, Sharkbait! Nope. So Marlon and Dory arrive at the harbor and they get eaten up by a pelican. Daddy, that's the fourth time something tried to eat them. Exactly. So now they're getting swallowed but Marlon's like, you die! Daddy, why don't all fish do this? Stupendous question, my child. So Nigel saves the pelican and they discover that this is the fish that's been looking for his son. What a coinky dink, Daddy. Out of all the birds in Sydney, they found the right one. Some things you just can't believe. So Marlon and Dory are suffocating and they're trying to get back into the water but they get stopped by the sky rats and he tells them Mine. jump in my mouth and follow me <gasps> they jump into his mouth but the crackhead sky rats give chase only to get trapped by a boat say yay <laughs> back at the dentist's office Darla sits down for a checkup I'm a piranha then Amazon and her uncle gets up to give Darla a gift but when he gets there shark bait is dead no daddy he was just pretending yes. so instead of flushing him down the toilet the dentist decides to throw him away in the trash can that sounds like a terrible idea daddy exactly. so in comes nigel with marlon and dory causing dwight shrewd levels of chaos when marlon finally sees nemo dead and the dentist kicks them out Gil launches himself out of the tank and violently attacks Dala on the head and flips Sharkbait down the sewers and into the ocean. Daddy, do fish eat our poop? Yes, my child. And we eat the fish. And that's why your daddy doesn't eat seafood. So Nigel returns a dejected Marlin and Dory back to the ocean. Marlin, distraught, tells Dory, don't follow me and leaves Dory all by herself. She begs him not to leave, but Marlin decides it's time to move on. But little does he know, Nemo's looking for him. Then the crabs are like, Nemo bumps into Dory. I'm Nemo. Nemo? That's a nice name. Daddy, Dory is driving me crazy. I'm Nemo. Nemo? <laughs> That's a nice name. What? Burn it down! You have no idea, my boy. So they're busy looking for dad and Dory sees it. <gasps> Dory's going crazy. She cannot believe it. Your father. My father? <gasps> Finally, they kindly ask for direction. But daddy, how will they find Nemo's dad in such a huge ocean? Super barely, he's an inconvenience. Marlon is swimming and Nemo just shows up. Yay! They swim and swim towards each other. Finally, they're back together again. It's so beautiful. Nemo's dad tells him, daddy loves you. But oh no, Dory's caught in a fishing net, never to be seen again. No, daddy, Nemo tells them to start swimming down. Keep swimming. Keep swimming. They keep swimming and swimming and finally the net breaks and everybody is free. Yay! But Nemo lays there dead. No, daddy. Nemo is okay. <laughs> Marlon tells Nemo he met a sea turtle and he was 150 years old. So they go back to the reef and Marlon is a cool dad now and all the other fish dads ask him if all those stories were true. Dory rocks up with the sharks and they remind everyone, fish are friends. No. And that's why your daddy doesn't eat seafood. I love you, daddy. I love you too, my child.